everyone. <laughs> Welcome to our new video review series. Um, we're in the back of the Royal Tourist Centre, which is rather exciting. Um, so the first review we're going to be doing live on YouTube from the back of the Royals is for Art School um, Autumn Winter 19. And it's particularly exciting because it's their first show outside of three seasons of Fashion News garnering lots of excitement. People have been watching and supporting and loving for a long time. Um, and also this is their chance to really kind of show who they are, what they want, and they have got the freedom and space to do so in the way they want to do. Um, particularly exciting for Art School because they are such an expressive brand. Um, their whole um, runway show, the clothes, everything is performative. It's all about sending a message, sending a story, um, and trying to communicate with the viewer and the buyer in as many ways as possible. So this season was all about going to the opera, and I'll, I'll read the press release for you. Envisioning their models en route to the opera, Eden Lowe and Tom Barrett depict a world of inclusivity with garments that open doors. Um, and that was very much felt here. There was the luxe kind of operatic looks kind of from previous season, from pre-fall even, kind of black silks um, cut on the bias to fit the form really sumptuously, actually divinely fitting the form. Um, those were kind of continuations from pre-fall previous seasons. Um, looks such as kind of sequins and glitter was less so here, which was kind of exciting in that it's felt much more of a progression this season. Um, but the there were elements of sequins, but this time kind of engorged as if to say, this is our first show, pay attention, how amazing. So huge sequin skirts to the floor with big gold discs. And um, there was one sequined look, I tell a lie, that was much in keeping with previous seasons. Um, I think they're very popular, so it'd be a shame to do without. Um, which was gold and had that beautiful kind of um, pooling of the, the neckline which is kind of a signature of art school um, at the moment and also looks amazing on anyone regardless of gender um, and that's also hugely important to art school they are a non-binary brand and they make sure that all their clothes because they're cut on the bias will fit anyone any shape any gender anybody anyone which is absolutely fantastic and super refreshing and I think one of the reasons they've done so exceptionally well in such a short amount of time this is their first Sunday runway show as I mentioned but also their first runway period was in January 2017 so in two years they've done phenomenally well um, and kind of skyrocketed into the forefront and that's not just because of the amazing clothes but because of the amazing message they're sending out. Um, so this season um, they continued their collaboration with Gina, um, amazing gorgeous marabou feather trimmed or I think they're ostrich feather actually trim shoes um, but this time kind of given a slightly more grown-up twist because we are going to the opera of course um, so simpler buckles but still kind of and also in nudey tones this time previous it's been kind of electric pinks um, and kind of bright greens those were here too lots of electric pinks and this time bright blues um, but there was like nude offerings as well so slightly more kind of mature demure um, but then that was kind of juxtaposed with this amazing punkish element, these kind of club, the club kid element, which was super fun. The choreography was kind of the best example of that. It's Holly Blakey, I believe, that does the choreography, and she was rather lovely referencing Nick Knight's Blade of Light image, um, which for those of you who don't know, we've got a big stream of light and models kind of all dancing, um, well, they're actually hoisted in beautiful positions. And so there was lots of fog and kind of models emerging from the fog, backlit and frontlit, it was amazing. Um, and the choreography, lots of unique dancing, some kind of crazy bit, someone was smoking and stubbing it out beneath their shoe. Um, and some of this was choreographed by Holly Blakely and some of it was actually organic. Um, Eden and Tom take real care in who they choose um, to be their models because um, they pretty much tailor each look to the model. You could say this is a kind of um, demi couture even because they take because it's so tailored to the individual and it's all about the community. Here, so I digress. But, um, but the in, each individual kind of had this organic moment on the runway, um, part, partly choreographed by Holly, partly kind of this fun display, circling, kind of keeping eyes on um, the front row, making sure you're what they were watching at all times, which is absolutely captivating. Um, new for this season as well is kind of this amazing kind of brocade, which was belted and also kind of cinched in different ways. Um, really lovely, but mostly with lots of leg showing, which. Shiori Takahashi's hair sculptures. Um, they, these were kind of formed from pieces uh, taken from safe spaces around queer safe spaces around London. So kind of shoes and bits and bobs and little 
amazing sculptural, a bit gritty. It's kind of what all the parts of all about. Um, and to have those close safe space references in there is, is all the more emotional, really, um, for such a wonderful show. Um, places like Vogue Fabrics, I should say. Um, what else was lovely? Oh, there was an amazing um, crochet dress um, on one of the models. Um, kind of big, gaping ho uh, hoops that kind of expose the flesh. And that was crocheted by Eden's mum. Took about uh, seven weeks, I've got written down here, but we'll have to fact check that one. Um, and there's lots and lots more to talk about, but overall, a really, really amazing um, first standalone show, incredibly impressive, and I'm sure they'll keep going from strength to strength to strength because um, people seem to absolutely adore what they're doing, and the clothes are incredibly wearable, as well as being dramatic and fantastic and 